Hey there everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Viking Wizard here. So, another unboxing video for you. I'm going to be unboxing a earbook. This one is the Tales of Nosferatu. Two decades of blood, 2004 to 2024 by the Swedish power metal band. Bloodbound, formed way back in 2004. First vocalist was Urban Breed and then he left the band, which was... um. I'm not sure the reason why I left the band, but I know they had the second vocalist in. I believe it was for like one album. And then Urban Breed came back and then he left again. And then you've got Patrick J. Is it Patrick J. Selby? Or has he changed his last name or something like that? But that's what a couple of people have told me. But first time I seen his band, I seen him way back in 2014. And it was his Stormborn era. So I got to see him in Birmingham on his Stormborn tour because it was Sabaton. <clears throat> Airstorm and then Bloodbound and they were incredible. They blew both bands out of the water. Probably one of the best bands I've ever seen live. They were incredible. They played all my favourite songs. They played quite a lot of um, <coughs> Stormborn, but then obviously in the name of Metal, Moria and also um, Nosferatu, which is a masterpiece of a song. But yeah, as I've said in my other videos, I've got the entire back catalogue of Bloodbound. So you've got Tales from the North, Creatures of the Dark Realm, Rise of the Dragon Empire, War of Dragons, Stormborn. Oh, and I don't drop them. Then there is In the Name of Metal, On Holy Cross. Tabula Rasa, Book of the Dead, and Nosferatu, and then their other live one, which is One Night of Blood, live at Masters of Rock, MMXV, which was their first live one, and that's from the Stormborn tour. But ever since they've released stuff, I've noticed each album, they release a live DVD free with some live stuff from a various festival or something, which I love, because I love seeing the live footage, but I can't wait to get into this. They're absolutely incredible live. I have got Stormborn. I believe it's War of Dragons on vinyl. And I do want to get the rest of their stuff. So I've been looking for a copy of Nosferatu on vinyl. Because that album is a masterpiece of an album. But Stormborn is my favourite um, Bloodbound album. Especially Nightmare from the Grave. Because I love that song. But then I love When All Lights Fail. And also um, Stormborn. But. Look at that artwork, absolutely brilliant. When this was actually announced it was released, I genuinely thought it was a greatest hits with a um, live CD or something for it. I wasn't sure what it was till um, obviously a later, a later date I looked into it because it came up and it said it was a live gig. So you get the audio CD, which is Masters of Rock 2023, Blu-ray, live at Masters of Rock 2023, then live at the Evoken Fest, Duo Music Exchange Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan on August the 30th, 2019. And then you get, I believe that's all their promo videos. Obviously missing out some of the live videos and say lyric videos, but I believe that's their full promo video collection. But that's awesome. There's not much to see there, just a bit of black. But yeah, this is wow cool. absolutely love this band they're one of my favorites and um creatures from the dark realm is absolutely fantastic i just wish they would play march into war and a couple of other stuff live because i've never played march into war live but i remembered when i first seen the era of um bloodbound the first stuff with urban breed and when i seen the makeup and all that sort of stuff and i genuinely thought that was a black metal or death metal band until I heard the music and was like, whoa. But yeah, they are so good live. This is cool for the various um, shots from the various tours and the various lineup. I know bands release, um, you know, the go through lineup changes a lot, some bands. So I always say when I do a video, I'm like, this is the lineup from this era. But that's cool. Legend of Nos. Nothing. Bloodbound Comics Project 20th Anniversary Edition. So that's going to be all very interesting read, and I'll be reading that. 
so that's well cool so yeah that's awesome to actually get a comic of the band so yeah it's all just comic which is gonna take me a while but I'm super excited to actually read it so yeah is it all just comic so yeah it's all just comic but oh some beautiful artwork which I'll show you some of this in a, a moment but yeah not for R2 that is a beast of a song live I remember they ended the show on that because that's what they do they end the show on Not for R2 and some like demon creature came out on stage or somebody dressed as a demon creature and it was bloody brilliant oh whoa yeah I'm just showing you a bit of the artwork so if it piques your interest and you need to get into this band and check them out or go and get this because it's awesome and oh that is well cool that will be awesome as a um art print or like canvas print put on a wall that's cool then we have that's cool some more life shots and various stuff from the band around the world i can see some stuff from like the japan show and in france I swear awesome this band is absolutely incredible and I wish they were to the UK more because that would be absolutely awesome seeing them again in the UK but I might, if not I might have to just travel to Europe but they're a hell of a live band Tales of Nosferatu CD and DVD I'll get the CD and Blu-ray so I'll show you the disc now so there we see CD And then you have the Blu-ray, the Tales of Nosferatu. I absolutely cannot wait to watch this gig. I noticed there's a lot of um, their DVDs that you get free. A lot of them have been recorded at Masters of Rock because they love playing there. But there's that bit, which is cool. And that's cool, the spine. But yeah, great earbook. I've got over 10 earbooks of various different bands. I know I've got Halloween, Hammerfall, Nightwish, Epico, um, Accept. I'm trying to figure the other ones. Ice Stuff, Dimmer Ball Gear. I've got a load, but I love collecting these and adding them to my collection. So, yeah, this has been Bloodbound, The Tales of Nosferatu, Two Decades of Blood. I'm going to put a link in the description just for anybody who comes across this and doesn't know much about the band, but they're a hell of a band. Hell of a band live. If you love your power metal, you probably would love this. But um, if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you've definitely got to listen to the album Stormborn. Purely for the track Stormborn. And obviously the... Is it the track Iron Throne? Which is probably one of my favourites off that one. And then you've got like Blackwater Bay. And there's um the Warlocks trailers and various other stuff. Which is awesome. So there's a lot of Game of Thrones um, themed songs in their stuff. So... Hope you all really enjoyed this. I do run a group on Facebook called Power Symphonic. You can probably see the flag up there. But it's dedicated to stuff like Bloodbound, Swedish Power Metal Band, Orden Ogan, Halloween, Hammerfall, Gamma Ray, Camelot, Epica, Nightwish, Delane, Marius Denilson's Legend of Valley Doom, Twilight Force, Gravedigger, all that sort of stuff to like with the, for the genres of Power Metal, Symphonic Power Metal, Symphonic Metal, Epic Metal, Fantasy Metal, Neoclassical Metal, Traditional Metal, um, operatic metal, um, space, sci-fi, pop power, all of that sort of epic stuff. So, like for the genre, for like Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Dungeons and Dragons, or fantasy based, sci-fi based, and all that sort of epic stuff. So, hope you all enjoyed this. If you are new to this channel, if you would like to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's many unboxing videos to do, but then, as I said, I show off tattoos. I do gig reviews when I go to gigs. I'm going to be doing one at Bloodstock in August, so I'll be taking a few videos of bands in and I'll be doing a full review and showing you my Bloodstock haul because I've got like 300, over 300 quid and that's for merch for Bloodstock so I'm going to be getting quite a lot of stuff and all that sort of stuff so hope you all enjoyed this and I'll catch you in the next one so Viking Wizards signing off I'm going to actually go and play the Blu-ray now I absolutely cannot wait and I'll catch you in the next one so have yourself a good one see you later